Alrighty, welcome back everyone. I am Blaze here. Today's video is the top four alternative tanks. Or what classes can tank in a pinch if you don't have someone that can taunt. So let's get to it. For number one on this list, I'm gonna place Beast Lord. They can build an incredible amount of aggro with slow and as well their pet procs and their pet taunts. Boy, do they easily and consistently hold aggro better than most classes I've seen. <laughs> they can definitely compete on par with any of the night tanks or a ranger. And as well, they have some really nice buffs. They get a lot of the stuff that shamans do, but they get the spiritual purity line, which gives extra mana regen, extra HP regen, which is amazing. One of only, I think, three classes that has a mana regeneration buff that can be casted on other people, being Bard and Enchanter on the others too. Now number two, I am going to place the Magician class. Now Magicians in and of themselves are not super great at holding aggro, but their pets, the best summoned pets in the game, their elementals, do a great job. Their pets can taunt and can hold aggro to a great degree, and some of their pets also have procs which can further help their ability to hold. But pets in general are a bit weak in terms of their mitigation. They're a bit weak in terms of their health pools, so they can kind of struggle sometimes. Now, number three, I'm gonna place Monk. Out of all the people on this list, I think Monks probably struggle the hardest because they can't rip aggro to the same degree that say like a Beast Lord could or a Magician could with their pet. They don't have that capability, but they do such a great deal of DPS that they can eventually take aggro by beating everybody else out of the parse, by beating everybody else on aggro generation. And if they're pulling, they'll definitely be the first one up. And monks also have their mend ability, and they have very high avoidance. They have very good defensive skills, so they don't take as many hits as many other classes would. And lastly, number four, I'm going to place Enchanters. Now, depending on the expansion, I think Enchanters could be number one. In the Classic Era and the Kunark Era, Enchanters are definitely number one. In fact, they're better than most main tanks. They're better than most taunt tanks. Not because of themselves, but because of how powerful Charm is. Charm pets were the main tank of my groups from the Classic and Kunark expansions. Every time I went down to the hole, Every time we grouped in various different Kunark zones, it was always an Enchanter pet holding aggro, being the main tank. And those Enchanter pets, those Charm pets, they had more hit points than anybody else did. They hit harder than anybody else did. Their aggro generation abilities were absolutely insane. I remember just how strong those rock golems were in the hole, or just how hard hitting and how much aggro was generated by these specters in Howling Stones, I think Helot specters. They, they were glass cannons. They didn't have a lot of HP, but their life taps, and if you put a haste on them, boy, did they lay the smack down on mobs to the point where I remember warriors or, or, uh, or night tanks in the groups, and they were struggling to take aggro off of these pets. It was that much to the point where they just gave up. But you'd still wanted a taunt tank because charm eventually breaks. And when it does, if it does during a fight, it gets kind of nasty. So there's always that. But charm was definitely very powerful. And charm isn't exclusive to enchanters. Of course, druids can charm animals and necromancers can charm undead mobs. So there's certain zones where those guys, those classes could make viable tanks in their own guard. And on one last note, I mean, this is a bar channel, of course. If you watch a lot of my videos where I first was leveling up with Aeonic, when these TLP servers start out, they're very, very caster heavy. I was oftentimes the only melee class in all of my groups because people weren't rolling tanks. People weren't rolling melee classes because of how gear dependent they were. So crazily enough, I did an okay job as a bard of taking hits and surviving 
I struggled hardcore to hold aggro, but bards, they're really the only ones here that plate, so they can take a few hits here and there. And some of their songs help them build aggro, but they can, in a pinch, take a few hits here and there. They can definitely tank some of the lower level stuff. Now when you get higher level, no. No, not at all. And also I wanted to say Shaman, because their slow, reduced mobs attack speed is such a degree, 80-90%, that almost anybody can tank. I mean, a Shaman can easily tank a mob when it's not hitting that much. It's not that difficult. I've seen Shamans tank, and slows generate a, an enormous amount of aggro. So thank you all for watching. That is my list. If you have any better suggestions for what you go in these places or disagree with me, go ahead, please leave a comment below. I will see you in the next one.